when we look up at the sparkling, starry sky on a clear night, we get only a small impression of what the giant universe really is. While we still haven't fully deciphered the secrets of our home galaxy, the question of what is actually happening outside the universe also arises. But does this ominous outside even exist? Can a supposedly infinite structure have a beginning and an end? If so, does this also mean that there is a defined space beyond the area in which our universe is located? Together with you, we want to go on a galactic search for more clues. If you like our videos, please support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and look forward to the videos that will be waiting for you in the future. The Birth of the Universe If one approaches the history of the universe, from a purely chronological perspective, it undoubtedly has a beginning. Some 13.8 billion years ago, matter in our universe was in a tiny, red-hot, and extremely compressed state. The event commonly known as the Big Bang subsequently caused the existing galactic mass to expand within a very short period of time, and finally to expand to billions of times its initial size. The rapid change that matter went through in the process is known to experts as cosmological inflation. Over the next few millennia, the temperature of our universe cooled down more and more, and the speed at which the galactic structure expanded slowed down considerably. The universe was still in such a dense state that it could not even be penetrated by light rays. This circumstance only changed when the first hydrogen atoms were formed. The previously impenetrable nature of the universe assumed a more transparent state, and the first stars, galaxies, black holes, and various other celestial bodies were formed. The Big Bang – Starting Point or Part of an Existing Development The Big Bang Theory, which is generally used to justify the start of space and time, has been met with great approval throughout the world of science. However, some experts question the significance of the Big Bang as the absolute birth of our universe. According to this theory, the Big Bang may not have been the origin of our universe, but merely a decisive turning point in an already long-lasting galactic cycle. In addition, there is the theory that the Big Bang marked a kind of mirror point in the course of which an image of the universe consisting of antimatter expanded in an unknown parallel universe. According to this fascinating theory, every human being would have a perfect clone in a world currently hidden from us. Doubts about the theory of galactic inflation Scientists, who are at odds with the commonly accepted Big Bang theory, often base their doubts on the cosmological inflation already briefly described. Although the theory is the cornerstone of modern astronomical research today, within the field of physics, the thesis is vulnerable. With the help of galactic inflation, some of the mysteries of the universe can be explained, such as the uniformly occurring microwave radiation. The corresponding radiation can be detected in all completely independently existing areas of the universe. According to this, the so-called homogeneity problem of the radiation is comprehensibly substantiated by the thesis of galactic inflation since in this case, the entire universe was originally in a minutely small state, which was subject to a uniform radiation effect. What caused such a galactic inflation, however, is still a big mystery among experts. What is outside the universe? While the history of the origin of the universe has already provided some controversial points of contention, let us now turn our attention to the nature of our galactic home and the questions about it. If we approach the question of what happens outside the universe, this method also implies that our universe is finite and has a clearly defined border. But is this really true? As most of you know for sure, the universe has not stopped expanding since its birth. So we are part of an ever-expanding entity that takes up more and more space with every second that passes. But how does this galactic expansion work in detail? Is there a surrounding space into which the existing universe can extend? 
or does it simply grow into the void? The Observable Universe The study of the entire universe is limited by a few predetermined factors. Thus, from our earthly point of view, we can only explore more precisely that part of the universe that is within our field of vision. This area is appropriately defined as the observable universe. Leading experts assume that those areas of the universe that are invisible to our eyes are constructed in much the same way as the regions we are able to observe. This means that even the parts beyond the observable universe are characterized by different galaxies, including countless celestial bodies and black holes. However, some curious circumstances have been observed in the past, which suggest that there are amazing formations outside of our field of view that are more monstrous than we had ever imagined. But more about this later. From our point of view, it looks as though Earth would be the galactic center from which all other galaxies move away. This circumstance quickly leads to the assumption that the corresponding formations must be heading towards a clearly defined boundary of the universe. However, this rash thesis is subject to a fallacy. If we were to move to any other point in our galaxy, the impression would again arise that we had just reached the center of the universe, from which all other objects are moving away. Is the universe really infinite? The vastness of the universe is often described as infinite. However, some scientists assume that although the universe is gigantic in size, far beyond our imagination, the galactic structure is indeed infinite, but in all probability, it is not. Assuming that the corresponding hypothesis of a finite universe is true, does this also mean that the universe must have a clearly defined edge? Does the universe have an edge? No. In order to make the structural nature of the universe more tangible, experts often use an earthly comparative picture, the so-called ant analogy. The small crawling insect is located on the surface of an inflated balloon. Now the ant can run endlessly in every conceivable direction without ever encountering a marked edge or a clearly defined center. For the insect, it therefore appears as if it were on an infinitely large object, although this is known to not be the case with a balloon. If we apply this analogy to the structure of the universe, we come to the conclusion that it is quite possible that the universe is finite, but at the same time has no clear boundaries. Into which space does the universe expand? While the question of the boundary of the universe can be answered in this way, the problem of continuous expansion in space still remains. What surrounds the universe, and into which space does it expand? While the balloon expands into a clearly delimited environment, this pattern cannot easily be transferred to the universe. Since some experts assume that, contrary to the aforementioned thesis, the universe is indeed infinitely large, this would also mean that everything that can exist at all is located in space. Thus, the universe represents the absolute totality of all occurring states and things, which in reverse would mean that an outside could not exist at all. According to this, the universe would not expand into a surrounding area, but rather would already contain the space into which it is expanding. In simpler terms, the universe does not grow into a space, but represents the space itself, which is constantly growing. The Multiversum Theory in stark contrast to the theory of a single, all-encompassing universe is the so-called multiverse theory. According to this theory, which has been put forward by some scientists, our universe is only a small part of a large superordinate system, which houses countless other bubble-shaped universes. In fact, the individual universes are said to be able to influence each other, for example, when gravity flows between the individual galactic entities. What happens outside the observable universe? Since the majority of experts are certain that there is no surrounding space into which the universe is growing, there is no need to ask what is happening outside the universe, since, according to the unanimous consensus of experts, such an area simply does not exist. Let us return once again to the question of what lies outside the observable universe. 
In 2008, some astronomers discovered gigantic galactic clusters that are being driven in one and the same direction at enormous speed. However, it's completely uncertain what attracts the clusters in question. Experts believe it's possible that there are unknown, massive structures outside the observable universe that attract the galactic formations with an unexpectedly strong gravitational force. However, astronomical researchers can only speculate about what these unknown formations are in more detail. Thus, it is sometimes conceivable that the attraction originates from immense accumulations of matter. The theory that the galactic pole is caused by extraordinary distortions of space-time, through which gravitational forces from other faraway galaxies flow, is also conceivable. How did you like our video today? Are you as fascinated by the universe as we are? Feel free to write us your thoughts and suggestions on the topic in the comments. If you liked our video, support us with a thumbs up. Thanks for your interest. Take care, and we'll see you next time.